Washington Square Arch was built in 1889 by Stanford White and was dedicated for the centennial of the inauguration of George Washington. There have been many triumphal arches throughout history and all have signified victory on the battlefield, but the Washington Square Arch reaches for something more. I believe that the Washington Square Arch changed the meaning of what a triumphal arch stands for, as it not only represents the victories of Washington, but also the reunified United States. In order to understand how the Washington Square Arch changed the meaning of a triumphal arch, we must look at the triumphal arches to see what they represent. Originating in with the Arch of Titus in Rome, the triumphal arch has symbolized great victories and leaders. The Arch of Titus was built by Domitian circa 81 CE in honor of his brother Titus's victory in the Jewish wars in Judea. The Arch of Titus has an inscription on the east side uh, which states that the arch is dedicated to Titus by the Senate and the people of Rome, yet it was actually dedicated by Domitian. The Washington Square Arch was funded by the people of New York and was truly dedicated to Washington by the people. Similarly, Napoleon was the, only, was the one who commissioned the Arc de Triomphe in Paris on the Champs Elysees. This arch is dedicated to Napoleon I and his troops who fought during the Napoleonic Wars. All the names of the generals and the wars fought are engraved on the inside and the top of the arch. Underneath the arch is the tomb of the unknown soldier placed there after World War I. Napoleon intended for this arch to be a unifying aspect of the city of Paris. Both of these triumphal arches are single arched and famous for their form. These arches are symbols of great nations and great times in their history, but they do not encompass all that the Washington Square Arch represents. The Washington Square Arch has traditional features that all great victory arches possess. These arches withstand the test of time and represent the people that constructed them. The arch can be built into a wall to help defend and protect the citizens that built it. The massive archway that crowned Washington Square Arch is crowned with an eagle in the keystone position where it would keep a traditional arch together. By putting the eagle there, the freedom that Washington fought for holds the arch together and represents how strong our nation is. The spandrels made with angels flank the eagle and represent victory and how our nation has fought to overcome the differences and is once again unified. The arch is constructed out of white Tuckahoe marble for, from a surrounding quarry and white is a color of unity. The inscription at the top of the arch on one side is a quote from George Washington and on the north face there is an inscription dedicating the statue to Washington. There are two statues of Washington on either side of the arch. One of the statues is Washington as general, and the other statue is Washington as statesman. These statues show the power of Washington in times of war and peace, just as our nation is strong at all times. The arch standing tall above the people walking in the park shows that our nation is strong and not easily shaken as it is built on a solid foundation set forth by Washington.